Good morning, adventurers, and welcome back to War Tales. I was able to stream yesterday, and thank you everyone for the birthday wishes and for those of you who joined me yesterday. Also, new shout out to a new follower on Twitch. We've got, probably gonna say this wrong, Rad Docile One, who followed during my off time. So, thank you so much for the follow. And as always, thank you to all the new subscribers on YouTube. So, uh, one thing real quick. I noticed yesterday that um, I didn't have a mouse capture going on, and this is definitely a mouse and keyboard game, and I didn't really think about it because I normally don't play mouse and keyboard games. So I have a mechanical keyboard, it's very loud and clacky, and so I typically just play controller games, but um, War Tales does not have controller support that I'm aware of. So, uh, yeah, I finally <laughs> realized after four streams that, hey, there is no mouse capture. This looks kind of weird. So I've got my mouse capture on this time so you guys can actually see, um, you know, the things that I'm pointing at. <laughs> uh, apologies for that. Uh, yeah, let's just dive in this morning. Ignore all my other saves. This has become my main save. I haven't really been playing my other one on the side so much lately. And so yesterday we went around Vertrus and finished a lot of the uh, regional quests. Um, we had an incident where some peasants, some farmers, uh, or vint vintners, whatever you want to call them, they actually went and attacked the abbey that shelters the plague victims there. Um, any of them that are plague infected can stay at the abbey. They're quarantined. And those peasants wanted to kill them because they were blaming them for the cause, which we already knew the cause. We knew it was those tubers that people, somebody was planting in people's vineyards. So I went ahead and attacked the people trying to kill the plague victims and we were able to prevent the plague folks from being killed which was good and then we went and talked to the broker who lives in the castle and now he has a quest for us to go and kill the tubers that are currently invading so that's what we're going to work on today and hopefully we'll get to move down into Tiltrin. We're doing pretty good on our crowns right now. We've got four days worth of food, but I did buy some more stuff that we can cook our food. Our influence has been building due to this new happiness, which I really actually enjoy. Um, any point we get over 15 happiness, we get an influence, which is super nice. I do believe we just made some potions. We might have to make more because we did just heal up our party. Okay, we've got three medicines still. I'm not gonna make more. I think we bought all the snow irises that we could, so we won't be able to make another one because it takes two snow irises. So this guy, I think, just has reduced movement speed. I think he'll be okay. All right, so we did all of our shopping in Marheim yesterday. We have a new ranger who joined our group, which they're gonna be our thief. We've got our archer back to being the alchemist. I do that for roleplay purposes. I understand that alchemist and thief both give dexterity bonuses, which our archer and ranger both use, but I like thinking of thieves as rogues or assassins, so I like them to be the thieves. And I don't know, it kind of makes sense, archers. Makes me think of D&D. &D. If you play a ranger, you most likely are going to pick, like, that one background, the, what, it's like Outlander or something like that. And it's all based off of, like, survival and recognizing um, the wilderness and stuff like that. And I feel like that plays into alchemy. So I kind of like that idea. And that's what I went for. We still have one person who doesn't have a profession. I think I'm going to probably trigger the fishing 
today so we can start working on our fishing and that'll help us with our food. I did grab the grilled carp. So that'll help us out and it'll help us make eel soup as well. All right, let's see where we need to go. So we do have one to the south and there is a quest down there so we can do both of these and come back up. Oh, and we also want to check out Smots Arena. Maybe we'll get to that today. Whoops, did not mean to click on the town. I want to go around. We'll go around this way. Oh, we need camp. I could just sleep at the inn in the town, but I'm going to go ahead and check out our camping. We do have extra people now, I think. I think they're assigned to the tent. Here's my ranger. So, one good tip that somebody did give me, apparently, you can assign your tinker and your cook to the uh, their stations for a bonus, which I, I never actually realized. Reduces daily food consumption by two. Oh, that's great. What does putting the tinkerer there do? Makes, oh snap. They make the raw materials for repair every time they rest. That's nice. I still want to make sure we're nice and happy, so I'm going to assign one person back to the campfire. We'll leave another person at the tent. And we'll do that. Let's make some of our food. We should be able to make the eel soup now. Oh, okay, it's two eels, so we can only make one of those right now. That gives us some knowledge points. We're going to cook this braised chicken. And probably all of this wolf sausage. That'll help a lot. We did get a knowledge point. Let's see what else we can learn. We haven't really come across any deer or lamb yet. And since we haven't made the grilled carp, we're not going to have a new recipe at the moment. Let's see... I'm going to leave that for now. And I am going to maybe do... Maximize Valor Points by one. Might do our rationing. Troop can, uh, eats one less food each day. And see if that combined with the cook at the station will help. Or, let's see, we finally got a new bow. I still need to make this guy. We can start making some armors. And shields. Is there anybody I want to change their weapons? Because we do have this one-handed hammer. I'm pretty happy with that. We might want to change our fighter to a one-handed sword. He hasn't been able to use his uh, destabilizing strike. I don't know if it's because of the sword he has, so I might learn that and give him a one-handed sword and see what happens. I think we have the materials for that right now. We're going to have to find a lot of wood. All right. Let's go ahead and feed our troops. Give them a nice yummy eel soup. And let's work on getting rid of that wolf sausage. All right, so we still have five days worth of food. Oh, now they want their wages paid right after I rest, of course. If you take too long to pay them, uh, the wages will stack. I don't think they'll get unhappy unless you actually go to rest and then don't pay them. Oh yes, that's the bandit layer over there. Those are pretty difficult and we still have a low level member, so we're not going to try that yet. 
see, there was to our right. There they are. Wonder if we can get an ambush on them. I don't think so, they're not in the woods. Nope. All right, couple level threes. We got two hoodlums, two poachers, and a marauder. And it's giving me the combat tutorials again. Hmm. All right. So they've got leader's aggression, which we learned yesterday is really crappy. So we're gonna wanna take out this guy. He is a ranger. He's got the devious whirlwind. I think that poisons everybody in a circle. It always lands critical hits. Yep, Cloud of Poison. All right. Is my team kind of separated? They are. They are, they are, they are. I'm gonna pull you up over here. Oh, wait, you're, you're our new, you're our new ranger. Go to the back. <laughs> Maybe you over here. I'm okay with this. Uh, I'm gonna have him engage in the leader immediately, who is also gonna go first. That's nice. I wonder if I have enough movement to do a spear throw first. Take out most of his armor and then get up on him. Do that weakening. Yes, I know about engagement. You don't have to show me the tutorials again. We went through all that yesterday. Alright, so their leader is already almost down. Who do I want to go next? Who is going to go after... I might be able to kill him before he gets a move, actually. Um, maybe... Maybe you? With your rampage? If I get a crit? Yeah! Oh, so close. Can I have this so it doesn't hit my guy? Yes. Alright, leader's already dead. Fantastic. Good job, Berserker. Now it's gonna be this hoodlum that goes next. I imagine he's gonna go up to my Berserker or something, so let's see if I can get over here. Push you and lay this down somewhere where you're gonna actually go. Yep. And that'll stop him in his tracks. It's a pretty good one. All right, poachers are gonna be super annoying. Oh, he pushed him just out of range. My man, we gotta work on your movement. Like, I think I can get, I might be able to get a hit in with this. Nope, he is just out of range. Oh my gosh. Well, that kind of sucks. I probably should have used my other pikeman. He probably could have made it. <laughs> yeah, he totally could. But I see a nice, beautiful line right here. There we go. Apply bleeding. And you're within range of that. Lovely. I cannot get close enough to him to get my valor point at the end of the turn. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I left him unsupervised. I should have been moving him back. Oh no! Um, you can push him away, like, twice, so... Let's get you in a good spot. Do that spear throw. And 
I can actually do a little bit of first aid. And you know what? I'm gonna throw that right on top of you. Oh, you're dead. Lovely. That was good. That's what you get. Alright. Start of a new round. We have all these people down here that we don't need standing around. So let me... I can get up to this guy. I'm gonna threaten you. Apply weakening blow. And hammer time. Also gonna go ahead and use galvanize, cause why not? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who's going next? This guy. You dead. Alright. Just in case the archer decides to move. Now he's not going to move because he is engaged. So let me get next to my buddy here and tell him to do another attack. And then I can also... Oh, nice. I wasn't expecting to actually kill him. get up and get engaged with this guy. That was a pretty decent hit. I'm gonna do a little punchy punch. Alright, let's see if that is within range of my archer. Not yet. I wish the archers had more range. Maybe if it were a longbow? I'm not positive. I would like him to come up and attack while he can. Nice. And he can use Wrath. You're dead. Get some experience for our new ranger so maybe he'll level up quicker. See, do I want to capture this guy? It doesn't look like I have the option. I do still have some chains, don't I? Oh, you're dead. Probably don't have the option because it's for a bounty, so maybe. I don't I don't know. <laughs> oh, somebody became a tormentor. It, that's this pikeman. He became a tormentor. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, we'll go ahead and repair all. We'll finally heal our guy. We got some snow irises so we can make another healing potion. Alright. And that's good. We vanquished the gang. Let me double check. Oh, yeah, I do have chains. Okay. So we'll go down here. So it says to find and root out the tubers that are smothering the vineyards. So it's probably this big one right here. Do you want to pour a weeding potion on the tuber? Yes. Oh! Ah! Hello. What did you pour on that plant? Why is it wilting so quickly? 
All right. Oh, at least they're level two. Fight. We have a spear in the middle of our field. Oh man, we are very well split up. Might put everybody on that side. Is there a leader to this? This guy, but he does not have that one buff, so he's just stronger. I don't think we have to worry about taking him out first then. Let's get everybody over here since they can all fit for once. Alright, make sure I don't have any of my guys separated. Doesn't look like it. Alright, so they're all gonna have to come this way. I'm gonna put him in the back. And there's another spear throw. Okay, so who's going first? This person. Phalanx, Phalanx soldier. Let's see if I can grab this. Uh, I guess I wasn't on it enough. And chuck that at you. Let's see if I can just kill you right away. I can. Oh, that's fantastic. We're starting to get a little more... a little stronger. Alright, you can't reach. You can! I see a lovely, lovely line of folks over here. Go through all three, it will! Yes! That really is the most fun. I know I didn't attack the person who was gonna go next, but. <laughs> worth it. to get in a position where hopefully I can lay this down and if this guy comes forward also if that guy moves I'll see if that'll work they'll probably just walk right around it in comes the boss man all right Who's going next? You are, so you're who I want to shoot. I'm still not quite in a good spot. Uh, I think no matter where I stand, I'm going to risk hitting my person, so... Oof! Good job. Fall back a bit. I want to make sure my archer stays back. And how far can you move? You can move up to there. Sure. That was a crit. I'm gonna start moving my swordsman up. <laughs> he is... his movement. Oh man, I cannot get to that person's back unless I go all the way around it and I don't really want my ranger exposed. He's still very squish. Oh, I thank you for walking right into that trap. All right, so who's going next at this point? You are. Can get up and surround you, kind of. You're dead. Cool. I'm gonna galvanize right here because I have like my entire party. <laughs> I 
All right. And then I'll go ahead and apply a weakening blow to you. There we go. Then the next person is going to be over there. So, who moves after that? You do. Looks like all those people are going to be taking their next moves. Who do I want to go? You can't get around anybody. I'm kind of blocking the path. I'm going to get up here and stabby stab him. Put myself next to him and then lay this out in this direction. Hopefully somebody will walk into that. Get the valor point back. All right, now can I get up and around? I can get up and around the back of this person. Ooh, nice crit. It's almost like there's not enough, for the, enough of them for us to attack. We got him surrounded. He has low enough to use Wrath on. I think I'll do that. Awesome sauce. Come on. Oh, you walked into the bear trap. I'll take that too. Got a couple of people almost perfectly lined up. Let's move over a little bit. There we go. Noise. Oh, and you're just within range for that. I barely have to move. Uh, are you both within reach? Ugh, just one right now. All right, Archer, let's move on up. Ooh, just out of reach still. And then if I move a little bit further, can I apply the slowdown on you? I can. Or I can just kill you. That works too. But now, yeah, he's gonna go, oh. Okay, he can hit all three of us and apply bleeding. That's fine. Nobody's gonna walk into my stuff at that point. All right, next person is you, so let's go ahead and attack you again. Let's get that backstab in. And can I throw this over here? I think it's just out of range. Let's move and there we go. 10 damage to you both. Take that. I'm back over here. Oh, I could have used Wrath. My bad. I wasn't paying that much attention. Let's go apply weakening to this boss. Now that he is up here in the game. That was a crit for 33 damage. That was awesome. Okay, who is going next? This person is. Uh, yeah, might as well. All right. You're still lined up for me. Now let's go ahead and move all the way around. We'll take you out. And end our turn. 
Man, Bleed does some hefty damage. Alright, that was pretty pointless to put down. Alright, he went for our other spearman. Now the only problem with surrounding this guy is he can hit us all. Yeah, he does have the ability to be killed with wrath. Um, nah, not today. You're not fleeing today. And that'll hit everybody, so I'm not gonna use his regular attack. Who's left? My archer, you are not gonna be able to get a shot in. <laughs> I have so many people around this guy. Let's try it. Oh, he did it! That was a good crit too. That did so much damage. Ooh, hey, look, some new armor. New shield. A hey, new spear. That's a pretty good spear to have. Alright, our Berserker leveled up. Up that willpower, critical hit chances at 6%. And we get to pick one of these. So probably gonna go with attack several enemies. I know we haven't got much use. Oh, that kind of sucks about my swordsman because he has this attack several enemies, but if his one special is only a one handed, which I feel like it shouldn't be, it just says melee, then we're never going to get this vicious or valorous chain or whatever that says off on our other guy. Oh well. All right, what kind of armor? Wish I could just apply like two kits to it. And what, what do you got? I'm not gonna repair his yet. It doesn't look like it's taken that much damage. Hold on. Okay, so you can remove reinforcements. That's good to know. It is 13 out of 23, though. That is 10. I'll go ahead and repair it. That's a full 10 points. I think these should be repairing 11 points for me now. Hello, Letharian X. Nice to see you in the chat. Thanks for joining. Okay, let's take a look at the spoils of war here. So I have one shield user right now. Yeah, I'm glad you could make it. Oh, that shield needs to be repaired. Unless... Is this the same thing? Armor plus 7, guard plus 12. Yeah. Instead of wasting my repair, I'll just put on a uh, new thing. Well, I'm glad you were able to catch me live after watching me on YouTube. Who else do I have that can wear heavy armor? I think it's my fighter can. That will give him plus two movement. Less guard and less armor though. Oh, thank you so much! Uh, yesterday was a fun day. I pretty much just watched The Witcher all day since it came out on my birthday. <laughs> it was fantastic. Okay, he cannot wear heavy armor. So 
So we're not gonna equip that new armor on anybody. Now, 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 who do I want this spear to go to? Probably you. Yep, that's way better. Yeah, The Witcher is flippin' fantastic. Watched the entire second season yesterday. <laughs> that's what I did for my birthday after my stream. <laughs> Alright, so we cleared this field out. We can head back through the town, sell a few of the things we picked up, see if we can make uh, that one-handed sword and see if that fixes our ability to use the swordsman special. All right, Marheim. Let's hand in our bounty first. Thank you, thank you. And it's only hard stuff on the bounty board. So this guy is going to be an elite. Colonel Alexa Grathan. Those guys, we're, we're not ready for an elite right now. <laughs> not with a level one in our party. <laughs> All right, I want to hit up the forge. Hmm, there it goes. Wow, that took it a while to load in. I thought it might have been broken. I'm just gonna pay for him to repair what else needs to be repaired. And I'm gonna sell him my stuff. So I think the explosives is, um, cause I made a few of these. I think you only have to equip one at a time so I can probably sell the rest of those. I think they're a continuous use thing once they're equipped. Because I use two of them. Where is my ranger? Here we go. Yeah, so I think you can just equip the hand bomblet. So I might sell those for some extra cash too. There we go. And that's the potion that we need. I don't think we have any trinkets right now. It makes your laptop lag. Yeah. I know um, they do have some lag issues. When I first started playing this, it would freeze every time the weather changed. And even now, after this new update, I've noticed it doesn't seem as optimized, and I've been having some lag as well. Some longer loading times. I'm sure they'll, they'll fix it. Their, uh, their other game, Northguard, for me, it still freezes every time the weather changes. <laughs> All right, still can't make that polearm. We're short to wood, but now we're gonna be using like three wood for this sword. That was too soon. Well, I got two out of the four. That's not too bad. It was still superior quality. Nice. And I probably shouldn't have sold that other shield, actually. Because now they're going to be one-handed. 
Let's give them a shield. I really don't like the Forge minigame. <laughs> yeah, if, if you have an old PC, it might be the time for a new one. Even I think I'm going to need a new PC soon. I play off of a, uh, a gaming laptop that I bought several years ago. I'm going to make this person some rags. Hey, they're superior quality. And they have a lair, but I think I just used everything, so I can't make our hunter's reinforced lair right now. I need to get a whole new gaming setup because I'm also like playing on my couch off of my TV. I don't have another monitor. I have to have like a laptop up to monitor Twitch chat. <laughs> Uh, that's also why I don't have a webcam, because I don't have a good place for it. So I need to get, like, an actual desk with two monitors, an actual tower. I have my old tower, but I don't think I could stream off of it. Let's see. Uh, so, yes, my fighter I wanted to change and try this one-handed and see if that means we can finally use this strike. I might have to be... Deals 10 to 12 damage to the target and applies destabilization for two rounds. It seems like it's something that I should just be able to use. So we'll, we'll check that out now. Which sucks, because then we won't be able to use this skill anymore. Yeah, having one monitor has been... interesting. <laughs> All right, let's sell this. I'll go ahead and sell the old two-handed sword. I'll be able to make one myself eventually. And we should swing by the apothecary. And let's make that healing potion. Can I make another one? Nope, I'm out of vials. Oh no, does it use my vials that I used to make the weeding potion? Because I should have gotten that back. Oh no, I don't think I'm going to get those back. I'm going to be short three vials. Aww. Okay, there was something I wanted to check out in this town before we move on. There's been this down here. So come on, Ranger, let's get you your thieving experience. Good thing I have plenty of lockpicks. There we go. Because the mayor is complaining about the sewers, and this just led down into the sewers. Hello, what are these? <laughs> mole rats! They're naked mole rats! The creatures are protecting their nest. <laughs> Thank you. It's taken me a while to figure it out. I kind of want to save before I engage in these because I have no idea what's going to happen. Uh, let's get a quick save on. I think it saved. Click once more. There's the icon. It saves so quick half the time I'm not positive if it actually saves. <laughs> yeah, I do the lock picking based off of the sound. So if it sounds like like, it clanks, then you're in the wrong spot. Alright, let's see here. Attack! 
Okay, oh my gosh, there's gonna be 29 of them? 29! Alright. Uh, alright. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> if we lose this because there's just too many, we're, we're not gonna bother with this right now. I'm just curious what this is gonna be like. <laughs> like right? That's a lot! I feel like that's probably more than what I you typically fight in the uh, infested infestation stuff. All right. Uh, okay. So, oh nope. There's thirty. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh. I'm kind of surprised that that many can fit on these battle maps. Okay, so I'm definitely going to use the explosion, that, that bomblet. I kind of want all my people to be clustered together and see if we can make their pathing kind of difficult. Dang, I wish my archer had the, uh... The archer, there's another archer skill where you can lay down a big area and anything that walks into it will get shot. Kind of like my pikeman. But it lasts... I think it lasts more than just one creature walking into it. I kind of want you in the middle because you're squishy. And... Okay, this is gonna be... I need somebody... Yeah, four of them are gonna get to go immediately. Yeah, I don't have a lot of AoE right now, unfortunately, and all my Valor points are gone. I probably should have rested. Um, so I need somebody to get us our Valor points, which I can probably do that with... you, if you actually start closer to here. Nobody's within range. What if you're over here? That's only one person. Well, if he engages in combat, I'll get a Valor point immediately. So... I don't think any of these things are considered a leader. Let's see what they can do to me. What am I up against? Nibbling. Two damage to the target. If already engaged with an ally, the damage is increased by 50%. And damage is increased by 30% automatically because they have brutality. Oh uh, boy. Also, damage is increased by 25% for each allied mole rat within 6 meters. And as, as long as this unit moves in darkness, they have brutality. Otherwise, they have fragility. Okay, so they have brutality. I know it's like sunny on the map, but we're technically in the sewers, so I think all of them are gonna have brutality because the sewers are gonna be dark. I wonder if they'll change this combat to actually be in... Oh, sweet. Got him. Oh no, that means I didn't engage in combat and I don't have a valor point. <laughs> no! I'm gonna fall back. I would like to use this. You know what? It's fine. We'll be fine. Pulled that away from his companions. There we go. Now we got a valor point. I probably should have left my two-hander with the two-handed weapon. I still can't use this. So... I wonder... There is a pole arm that can cause destabilization, but the enemy has to be engaged with somebody else. So I wonder if it's the same case for this attack, and that's why I haven't been able to use it. 
Because it doesn't say anything. I can't, like, use any of his stuff. What is going on? Um, all right, let me figure out who I want to actually move first. Let's see if I can shove you back. I'm no longer engaged in combat, so let me throw this down. I mean, the next thing that comes up is dead. I mean, that skill doesn't even have, like, how that one was like, hey, you can't use this when engaged in combat. That skill doesn't have anything. It doesn't show me what I need to actually use it. So... If I can, I'll see if I can get this guy disengaged and see if I can use... Yep, they get a bonus just like I do when I'm surrounded. I don't think using destabilization is a good idea on the mole rats because... I don't think they have any guard. Yeah, they don't. So, so it wouldn't do anything, but I just like, I need to learn how to use this. You're dead. Let's see. I can't... Well, I have no Valor points, so of course I can't use Taunt right now. Probably, ooh, yeah, I'm gonna use my ranger next time and throw, oh, yeah, okay, nothing's engaged with my ranger, sweet. <laughs> I feel like, nope, I don't have the valor point for it. Can I hit all three of... No, I won't be able to hit all three of them if I stand there. Let's go be back here. Uh, yeah, I still have the spear guy, but his AoE is only good for, like, when one thing walks into it. Or, no, I don't have the spinny spear guy, if that's the one you're talking about, because I finally got a new weapon. And... I could... I kind of want to save the Valor Point. But I finally got a new weapon because that spear only did the um, Valor Point attack. So it's kind of useless if I have no Valor Points. Alright, bomb. Bomb, bomb, bomb. I get... nope, I can get those in it, though. Let's do this. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Now, who can I get up to and finish off? I think I can get right up here. Stabby stab. And let's move back. Yeah, I don't know. I think it was actually bugged because I didn't even actually equip that spear. It's like it came from the battleground. Which is super frustrating when that happens. Because it it's one of the spears that you can pick up in the battleground and throw at somebody. And somehow it bugs out and it's like equipped to you and your old spear is just gone. <laughs> Okay, I want you to disengage, even though I'm going to take some damage. We're going to back off. Ayo, got the kill. Now, what else do I want to attack with you? And got another kill. So... 
Yay, Valor points. God, this is still the first round. <laughs> There's so many of them. <sighs> we can handle this, though. I do kind of wish he had the spinny spin, but... Oh, he's engaged, so he can only throw directly in front of him. Darn. Are you... Yeah, you're the last person to go. So, let's, uh... Okay, you're dead. Now I'm no longer engaged. Where is a nice big line of them? Right here. Yeah, that should take them out. Got two of them at least. That kind of leaves my archer open now though. Oh yes, I do have wrath. I cannot end my turn next to any of them though. Boo. Yeah, we're down to 20 now <laughs> out of 30. We've killed 10 of them in one round. <laughs> This is ridiculous. <laughs> At least they're really easy to kill. Like it's just kind of it's just going to take a while to get through it. They're obviously going to do quite a bit of damage to my armor, but I don't think they're really going to get through. I'm real glad they don't have any sort of like poison or plague infection or anything like that. Like not bad. Dang, I was hoping that one up there would have been in my range, but it is not. I'm gonna leave him there. <laughs> Yay, you gave me a valor point. Thank you, little naked mole rat. Alright, so... Where do I want to throw this bomb? There's not as many over here anymore. We've got a decent cluster there. Let me... There's so many dead ones that I, like, can't... <laughs> They're just, like, everywhere. <laughs> I'm like, what's still alive? Let's see... I think I'm only gonna be able to get two at a time right now. Oh, I can get those three. Killed one. This one is engaged, so I could get behind it and get this backstab. But now I'm kind of in a vulnerable position. Oh, I can still move. Okay. Let's do that. Bye-bye. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> There's just so many. Uh, let's see. You've got a big swing. Let's do that and hit three at once. Let's use Wrath on it, the one that I'm engaged with. And then we'll use this. Let me actually get over here to this one that's at full health. Because this will take it out. Thank you very much. And then we'll position ourselves here, I guess. Down to 16. <laughs> this is just going to be the entire stream today, just clearing out these mole rats. Yeah, they're definitely not hard. It's just a lot. We're gonna be here a while. 
I'm trying to find like the best way, but I got rid of my other two-handed person. And for some reason he can't use... You know what, let's see, can I get... Let me see if he can use it on something that's already... No, I have no Valor points, so of course not. And I'm like, I'm like, maybe I should Google this, but honestly, there's really not much out there when it comes to resources on the internet for answers to this game. There's not much out there yet. <laughs> Two of them right there. Let's do it. <laughs> Killed them both. <laughs> yes. And you're dead. And I can get up to my companion over here. This poor guy is just completely surrounded. <laughs> and tell you to take an attack of opportunity. All right, we're doing. We're we're making progress slowly but surely. Archer is going to get engaged again, isn't he? Yep. What is the skill name? Um, hold on. It's. I'll take a look once they're done taking their turns. So it's on the swordsman. It's destabilizing strike. left. It's you. Uh, let's go help him out. He's got some behind him that he's not going to be able to hit. No, I'm going to kill all of you. You are not allowed to flee. Can I get him over to anyone who's currently engaged? Yes, I can. I have a Valor point and I still cannot use Destabilizing Strike. I'm right up next to the thing. It's as close as I can get. I also can't use Taunt with him. What is going on? Is my Swordsman just completely bugged out? Like, <laughs> did I pick the completely wrong stuff? That's so weird. You're dead. All right, I'm just gonna do attack these three. <laughs> That was pretty awesome. Um, I'm gonna move up to this one and use Wrath on that. And I can also take this one out. I might as well. I'm gonna have you disengage because they do hardly any damage. Let's just back up. Shoot you, you're dead. Shoot you, you're dead. Hey, we cleared out 30 mole rats, guys. Ugh. Grab that food, leather, fangs. We'll go ahead and just repair. Well, you know, no, you know what, we're in town. I'll pay for the repair. Alright, now let's check this out. The nest 
obstructs water drainage. Ooh, we actually need a torch. Dang it, and I sold my torch forever ago. <laughs> Uh, torch is a tinkerer thing. I don't think we're actually going to be able to make it. But let me go to the forge real quick. Hello. Yeah. Um, I'll go ahead and pay to repair. Uh, actually, does anybody sell cloth? Let me see what we need to make a torch. We also need to rest and I'll pay my folks. Tinkerer, what do we need for a torch? Oh, I can make it. We have everything. Awesome sauce. And I don't think I can cook that rat meat. So if we're gonna eat it, it's gonna be raw, which is kind of gross. <laughs> hey, thanks. All right, let's pay their wages. Get all this yummy, yummy wolf meat going. Now always crits against targets without guard. I can't even use it though, which is weird. It's always grayed out. Hey, I got raw materials. That's pretty dope. So our folks are paid. We got our torch. Let's go back into the city and clear out that gross mess. No, yeah, it's not passive. It's supposed to be something I can use with valor points during the battle. I thought it was because maybe I was using a two-handed weapon. So I'll probably look at the forums and see if anybody's experienced that, and if not, I'll report it. Hey, alright, we burned the nest. The blockage has been cleared. Is there anything else down here I can do? Does not look like it. That's the exit. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go to the town hall. There we go. Hey, I finished that for you. The stench came from a rat's nest? How vile. You have my thanks for ridding us of this revolting horror. Yay, influence. Let's see, does the tavern have any new bounties for us? You have an average one. Let's do a little bit of negotiating. Now that I have the influence to spend, why not? Let's try that. Sweet! We got like the highest we could go. That's gonna be a decent chunk of money. Alright, I think that's everything we want to do here, unless... What kind of people can I recruit in the tavern? Got another spearman. I wouldn't mind another archer at this point. Another two-handed swordsman. You're the informant. <laughs> and, ooh, yeah, another archer. I know I can recruit higher-level people in other locations, so I think... Unless, what's he got? 5% chance of resisting poison, bleeding, and burning. I mean, he's not that bad. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off and wait until we get to Tiltrin and see if we can find an archer in Tiltrin because I think at that point they should be higher level when I recruit them, so I'm not having to do everything from level one again. All right, what else do we have? Unfortunately, all of our quests are like away from our uh, our region quests.
Hello, trader. What do you have? You have leather, raw materials, lockpicks. Nothing that I want from you, thanks. Let's see if I can catch up to these. Excuse me, guards, trying to get to the traders over here. You have some armor on you. It's only, well, oh, that's level four, actually. Uh, my ranger is still level one, so you can't wear it. That would go to probably my archer. So he's got movement plus two, critical hit plus two, armor plus 23. It's barely better. I'm not gonna spend 120 crowns for something that's barely better. All right. Oh, I, pa I totally passed <laughs> where we were supposed to be going. Whoopsies. It's supposed to be up here, isn't it? Because this is a, yep, there it is. save real quick. It's been a moment since we have saved. And then let's pour this. I think I do now. I think his weapon gives him slice at the moment. Yeah, he's got slice. These guys that we're going to get in a fight with should have armor and guard, so maybe to work with these. These dried up twigs. Is that all that's left of the tuber? By Saint Septimus' skull, our lady will not be pleased. Ooh, they're getting harder. in level three. Um, what damage does the slice do to enemies? 10 to 12 damage. And it's melee. That's, uh, alright. I can have all my folks in the middle. I kind of don't want the... I kind of don't want them all in the middle. But who's going first, and where is their leader, first of all? You're the leader. Again, doesn't have that buff, thank goodness. So, who's going first? That foot soldier. I'm gonna go ahead and send my pikemen forward. And get him just within range. Boop. And then lay this down. And then the person going second is going to be the phalanx soldier. So let's send you up. And engage in combat. You know, I might as well apply weakness to him. I don't know how hard he's going to hit. I feel like... Okay, so it's supposed to get rid of their guard. So I feel like it has to be somebody who has armor. Because that's the, the only time they have guard like that. He's at 13% guard. He is at 0% now, so... I wanted to see... So I took away his armor completely because I was going to see if I could get him up to him. My man, you can't move anywhere. What? What is... What is up with that? What? See, I can't even use the spear throw with him. Okay, this swordsman is bugged. I can't use any of his valor point. 
like, tactics. Yeah. I should be able to throw a spear with him. I think... I think it's the swordsman itself is just bugged. Oof. Yep. <laughs> that sucks. Why? <laughs> Why is it just my swordsman? <clears throat> he's going next, but he's engaged, so who goes after that? That foot soldier. I do see a wonderful line of people. Yes. Let's go here, but we're gonna attack you. And end that turn. Yes, yeah, considering he can't throw that spear, that's definitely a bug. That really sucks. Ooh, nice crit. And we'll finish him off. Ooh, nice finisher. <clears throat> can I throw this? I can. I can get just you. And is that enough for the spear? It is not. Okay. That's fine. So now I gotta decide what to do with this guy. I don't know if I can kick him out of my troop. I did invest time in him. Oh boy. but that's really bad that I can't use any of the, like, specials, essentially. Is it seriously still a chance for me to hit my own guy? I did change his weapon. He was wielding a two-handed weapon, and he couldn't use the his valor point attack. And so I thought, oh, maybe it has to be one-handed. So I changed it to the one-handed sword and a shield and it's still doing the stuff. So unfortunately, I don't think changing it is gonna help. You're going to attack next. So I'm just gonna go ahead and move in on you. He still hits pretty hard. Maybe, maybe we can get through. Oh, I didn't mean to move up right next to him. Crap. Maybe we can get through the game without, <laughs> without him needing his valor attacks. Um, who's moving next? You. Okay. Well. Not much I can do about that. Let's go ahead and do this. Ooh, we got a crit, which means this is gonna hit harder. Yeah, boy. Let's have you come up behind. Do a nice stabby stab. Ooh. Crit for 15. Good job. And I'll attack you. Who is going next, by the way? Okay, it is him. And that's it for that. Let's see. I'll have you engage with this target. Galvanize for an extra valor point. Yeah, I might be able to. And if I give him back a two-handed weapon, then he'll be able to do AoE if he gets around, like, 
multiple enemies by him, depending on how they surround him. Uh, if I do that, I'm gonna hit my own guy, so... Boop, you're dead. I'm gonna start moving this way. Oh, was that technically not close enough? Guess not. Ouch! Oh yeah, I forgot. I shouldn't have put my person that close. <laughs> I forgot he does a spin spin. Spinny spin! Where is that spear? I'm standing like right next to it. Come on. There we go. And get next to my guy here. Tell him to attack again. There we go. Look at that. That works. Go up here and end my turn next to him and I get a valor point. I can force a disengage. Do I want to lay that down? Let's go ahead and lay that down. I don't know if anybody will be able to get up to this guy before the next round. We're sure gonna try. You're almost dead, dang it. I get the kill with my ranger, that'll get them nice experience points. Maybe it might be time to turn on some lights so you can see what you're clicking. <laughs> uh, nope, I'm not gonna let you guys flee. You came and attacked me and you've been doing bad things in the region. You do not get to flee. Oh, I just walked over a trap. Are you serious? <laughs> Alright, new round, who dis? Oh, he's not even gonna get a chance to take a turn. Whoops, I didn't really mean to engage with him with my spear person. I thought I was a little further away. That's fine. We're gonna push you. And we can end that turn, and then you can just come up and get that killing blow. Maybe. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it's like 9.45 in the morning where I'm at, so it's sunny out. I have the blinds closed though, so I don't get a glare. Hey, we got a couple of level ups. And some new armor, that's medium armor. Go ahead and repair everything. We'll heal our one person. All right, Alphard. You're my bugged guy. Oh, no wonder you only have movement of seven. We'll keep upping your constitution though. That's a ridiculous amount of constitution. Huh, <laughs> nice. Must be pretty late there. All right, let's level you. What do I want? Every time they end their turn next to an enemy and it's not engaged, or they kill an enemy, or next to an ally. I'm gonna do next to an enemy because I want them to come up and like backstab people. And we'll up your movement since it gets the plus two. Oh wow, yeah, that's really, that is really late or early depending on how you look at it. <laughs> so you're definitely in a different country than I am, which is pretty awesome. Oh, there's a thing I can inspect here. What is it? Click it. Uh, I guess I already got it. 
Oh, the Philippines! That is awesome! Well, thanks for joining my stream. I'm in the US, in Colorado. <laughs> I haven't gotten to do much uh, traveling in the way of overseas yet. I've gone to Jamaica and the UK and New Zealand. But the UK and New Zealand were for work. <laughs> All right, uh, let's save again. I feel like these guys are getting harder each time. All right. What's this, mercenaries? I didn't know you enjoyed gardening. Fight? Okay, they have a lieutenant. Still level three, at least. And he does not have the leadership buff, thank god. So what have we got going on here? We're split. I can have most of my party in that direction, which I think I'm going to do. I'll leave my archer in the back. I think my archer will be okay. Uh, now it's just, who do I want to engage first? Who's going first? This heavy hitter. Let's get my swordsman up in here. Oh, you can't reach, can you? Actually, let's put you here. You here. Alright, I'm gonna have my swordsman engage on this person. Since that's all he can reach. Let's see how it goes making him bait. <laughs> oh, I can't quite reach the guy that I want to reach. What about you? Can you get back there? Yes, you can. Um, what about... No, you're going to be way too far away. Close, but no cigar. All right, so what do I want to do here then? So you're gonna go. There's really nothing I can do to stop them, so. I don't want to put him up there yet. Oh, I can apply destabilization with this. There we go. So now he's got no guard. And then I'll just end my turn next to him to get a valor point. I would love to see the Philippines. I bet it's absolutely beautiful there. Maybe someday when I can start traveling again. It sucked because we went to Jamaica in December of 2019. So just before COVID happened, and like, I've, I've been pretty much a homebody most of my life, and so we finally went, and I was like, oh yeah, that was great, like, we should travel more, like, let's hit up the Philippines, the Bahamas, like, let's do all this stuff, go to Hawaii, let's go to Europe, and then COVID happened. <laughs> and I was like, great, <laughs> thanks. It's because I actually wanted to start traveling. <laughs> the world was like, nope. Alright, let's get engaged with our leader over here and keep him preoccupied. We will go ahead and apply weakness to him. Yeah, I know obviously we can do more travel now than we could, which is nice, but yeah, I would definitely like to get back to You know, not pre pre COVID days for the most part. Oh, 
Hey, okay, he has a circle swing. That sucks. This is fine. I can totally surround this guy. Actually, I could probably surround both. Who's going next, though? I think he is. Yep. So let's get up here. I'm gonna do my rampage. Oh, we got two crits in that. And angle this so I only hit him. And we'll end that turn. Pikeman versus Pikeman. And we'll move up. Lay some damage down. And move back. No, leave my archer alone! <laughs> Good, he couldn't get there. Alright. Whose turn? It's gonna be boss man. So let's just kill you. Really? Smack right across the face. And if I get over here... Ba -na -na -na, let's get all those valor points. Heck yes. And I'm gonna start moving this way. Alright. You can come up here and hopefully get a backstabby stab on this guy. And a wrath. Oh, that's not quite enough. Let's throw this bomb on this guy. I am gonna move out of the way though. Well, no, I should get a valor point for ending my turn there. It's gonna be his turn and then that person's turn. So what I actually want to do and then lay this down. He's still gonna get a turn even though we could have killed him but I would rather... Oh no, I was within his reach still. Dang it. <laughs> so that didn't work the way I thought it was gonna work. <laughs> My bad. And spear throw on you two. You're dead. Let's come up here and get a uh, stunning assault on. It's not going to lower his guard because he wasn't engaged with anybody. Oh no! I should have done my archer. Dang it. And now he is engaged. Shoot. I wasn't paying attention. You go next. So let's have you come up. Do some decent damage. Is there is hmm. I'm gonna look at his traits, because I'm like, maybe there's something that he has in his traits that prevents him. I doubt it, but perfect spot. Nice and dead. Alright, and your turn. Everybody else has had their turn but you. I'm gonna go ahead and disengage even though that's gonna hurt a bit. Spear throw, take out your armor. Let's do a vicious shot. And then we're gonna take you out with this other one. Ooh, nice. And in that turn. Yay, extra valor point. So I think if this guy is in range and I can knock him around, he's not in range. Oh, he's just outside of it. I would have triggered the... <sighs> it's 
so close. I would have been able to trigger that. I tried. Who does go first? This guy. All right. Get some good weakening on him. I can get up to this guy, so let's do that. Do our rampage. Didn't get a crit that time, bummer. We are making good work of our enemies these days, though. Just outside my... Ooh. Aha! <laughs> Ten damage. Okay, we'll turn that off and let's push him back again. with seven movement. <laughs> yeah, still harassing my pikemen. It's fine. You guys might have lined yourselves up. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get a clear shot. No, I'm not gonna. It's close. You know what? You can go ahead and get the finishing blow. Ooh, hit for 32. Nope, you are not allowed to run. All right. Hunter. Let's finish it. He did. All right, we do have somebody we gotta heal. I'll go ahead and repair everything. And we got a guard mace. Let's see, that would be for our captain. Whoops, you're not our captain. There she is. It is not better. Okay. Man, the armor and stuff looks so cool in this. Now that's what I call a fight, mercenaries. Those gladiators have got nothing on you. Don't think I only come here to admire your skills. The broker asked me to tell the vintners you were heading this way so that they wouldn't mistake you for the ones you are after. The broker also asked me to give you your reward once you're finished. Something about Lady Brunhilde has him very preoccupied and he has no time for visitors at the castle. Hey, thank you! Alright, so now this region should start recovering and we completed all the region quests. There are still a few things we want to do here. Did I not get a border pass? Am I going to have to pay my way through there? Well, that kind of sucks. I wasn't quite paying attention to the reward. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Have I gotten any new food to cook? I did not. Anything that I want to make in the workshop? Nope. We don't have, like, any materials anymore. Oh, yeah. There is this medium armor. Who wears medium? I do believe you also wear medium. That is not better. The armor is the same. Nope. Not going to do that. Ooh, so what I should do. Oh, he's never engaged, so the attacks of opportunity is only good with this. What about you? You're in light armor, but you can wear medium. Nope, not better. Okay, we'll sell that. So I don't think there's anything else for us to do. Everybody's in a place. Let us pay our guys and feed them. Eat a little, some of that gross rat meat. <laughs> All right.
right, and we made some more resources. We have so much influence these days. I really like this this new happiness meter. It's it's pretty good. Now let's head back to the castle because it still shows we can. Oh yeah, there's that wedding banquet. I don't think we finished donating to them. I don't remember what we were missing though. We probably cooked all of the food. <laughs> I feel like it was probably food we were missing. Hey, we can give them rat meat. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So I think we donated everything. Yep. So that just gives us more influence, and that's marked as completed on here. There's events for everything that you can complete throughout the region. We've completed most, it looks like. We haven't gone up to Smots Arena. Oh, and there's something we haven't discovered over there yet. So we're gonna go up to Smots Arena. And we're gonna swing by here and see if we can talk to him anyways. Take our handy dandy pitten down. All right, let's go see if he'll talk to us despite everything that that lady just told us. We're just gonna ignore her. And there is a forge here so we can sell those things that we picked up so we don't have to carry them around with us everywhere. Hello. Let's sell that, sell that, and that'll be it. I'm gonna buy some more of these. We were running kind of low. All right. Oh! <laughs> he respects our presence in his castle. That's nice. Let's talk to him. I asked you here, mercenaries, as I cannot entrust the guard nor the companions with this mission. Arresting an Alizarian princess is both dangerous and unheard of. Everything you learn from the trackers, Rosal, and Joran points to Brunhild Adder Alizar. She poisoned Vertruce in a bid to make me pay dearly for the remedy. Corrine's abduction is the key to this whole mess. With her gone... I am free to wed another woman, Brunhilde's daughter, under the law of the all-seeing eye. Uniting Vertrus and Alizar is the first step to fulfilling their dream of resorting, of restoring the Northern Kingdom. You must bring them back to reality. My men have surrounded Brunhilde Al Adder Al Alizar's manor. Gosh, what a name. But I need your help to approach her. Okay, so there is one more. Oh, and that's where we're going to get our border pass. Heck yes. Yeah, so I guess this used to be a combined kingdom. And I knew she was... I, I didn't understand why she, like, was making this power play. But it seems that they want to restore the Northern Kingdom to its former glory. By marrying off her daughter to this guy. But let's check out Smots Arena. My wares are plenty, but I only sell to arena champions. Prove your worth and come back to see me. All right. Welcome to the local arena. You can register for up to four fighters. You are not allowed to kill your opponents, but no holds are barred. All right, so we're gonna do an arena. I definitely want you in there. Um, probably my berserker? Or maybe I should do all level fours. Take my harpooner. I don't know what kind of fight this is going to be. 
Let's see, rules. A team consists of four fighters. After registering, the team cannot be modified for the rest of the competition. Fight three battles in a row to take on the arena champion and try to obtain their medal. When a fighter has no more health, they do not die but are instantly taken out of combat. So we're going to have a special rule in the arena. Clouds of poison appear under all the units at the end of each turn. So that's, I think it was our archer has resistance to poison. Oh, he got tormentor. Increased by critical hit and critical damage increased by 5% when a two-handed weapon is equipped. That's pretty dope. Maybe he wasn't the one. Who was the one? He also has tormentor. Wow, a lot of people are becoming tormentors. Okay, um, who else? You can't use your skills, which is frustrating. Hmm. Let's maybe do, let's, let's try our Berserker. Let's try this combination and see how it goes. All right, I've never done this before. Um, let's register this team and go into the arena. I think if we are able to complete the arena stuff, we can actually... Oh, new requirement? She can't take any damage? Are you kidding me? Why would you do that? <laughs> That'll reward us three Valor points. That is not ideal though, because she's our tank. But I think if we are able to fight the champion, then we get uh, something from somebody at the mill who was a retired champion and yada yada. So that's the boss. Well. All right. My archer should be back there. I can move, like, everywhere with this guy. I'm gonna engage you. Keep you in the cloud of poison, although I'm probably gonna be in it as well. Oh my gosh, he is so tanky. Ooh. This might be a little difficult. Yeah, I probably should have put him, like, right in the middle. Um, let's see. I want to get up to him. And I'm going to say, hey, opportunity attack. And then I'm also going to attack, which should destabilize. Yes. And... I'll end it there. Ooh. They hit really hard. This might not be the best team. Oof. Disengage you from them. And I want you to be slowed. Yeah, I'm not going to try that requirement. That just gives me more Valor points. I'm just... We need her to engage. He applied for fragility. Yep, now we got poison on the field. All right. Who's going first? This guy. My person is also going to be poisoned, which kind of sucks, but come on. 
We're wheedling him down a bit. And... Probably should have destabilized him first. I didn't realize his guard would come back. Let's do this. Get another opportunity attack. That's all my valor points. Shoot. Oh no, there's a fly flying around my house. That's annoying. <laughs> Just saw it out of the corner of my eyes. Oh, this is... This is interesting. Um, that person's going next, and then that person... Yeah, we can go ahead. Just keep doing as much damage as I can. Not really in a good place to hit that person, am I? Not at all. I did not leave a good opening. Uh, I'm gonna walk through, like, poison. Let's get here. They should still be slowed down. Oh, I made the crowd happy! Land a critical hit with two different units. Nice! All right. I'm gonna get here and apply first aid to you. And then see if I can move back out. Ha, ah, that does a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, they're out of combat. Oh, that sucks. They got one of mine before I could get one of theirs. All right, got one of them out of combat. Nice crit. Trying not to... I, I want to stay out of the poison. It is just everywhere, though. Alright. Is this... Okay, they want this person to die. I'm working on it, folks. I'm working on it. And I am just stuck here in the poison. I think I'm about to lose... You're done. All right, let's move up here then. I cannot taunt them. I cannot force them to engage. Wow, that was a lot of damage I just took. Oof. This is risky, man. Oh no, oh no, it's, it's two versus two. <laughs> All right, all right. New requirements. They must be engaged in combat by the end of the round. Oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do that right now. In fact, we're actually gonna take them out out of combat. So let's start moving over here. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta move forward a little bit. Oh, we're so close, but that's all I can do this turn. We got this, though. I think we got this. <laughs> oh, the poison got him. <laughs> now we get a gift. Following your victory, the crowd adores you. Choose an upgrade for the rest of the competition. All the enemies start the battle with vulnerability. Ooh. Um, filling a requirement grants additional to... I'd rather do that. New arena rules. Plague rats are unleashed into the arena at the end of each turn. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I don't want to give up, but I don't want to 
do this entire round right now. <laughs> I guess we're doing this entire round right now. Oh, wait, do they not heal up after each? Oh, no. Do they not heal? Let's see. Some units do not have a bonus selected. What? Oh, okay. Heal this unit or repair. So I can only heal or repair. Well, that kind of sucks. I see how this works. All right. So the arena stuff is rough. What is... So that person must take damage. Let's see. There's poison traps. And then we're gonna have plague rats. All right. Oh, they have two leaders? That's not fair. They do have vulnerability, so the next attack suffered will be a critical hit. So we can critical hit all these guys. Okay. Let's see. I want my archer in the back. Let's do this. I don't really care if I meet the requirement right now. Nice critical hit. And apply weakening to you. Woo! That did a lot of damage. So let's actually come up here. Tell you to get an attack of opportunity in. And they're dead already. Good start, good start. Um, I'm gonna throw a spear at you. All right, we got two valor points there. And then I'm going to put myself here. Nice. And we'll end the turn. And of course, since I couldn't repair, I'm gonna take like a whole bunch of damage. All right, let's get up on you. God, you are so tanky. We got Fury at least. And that was supposed to be a crit? Holy cow. I need to get a new weapon for my, my axe wielder. Ooh. Yeah, we're gonna be taken out so fast. What was that? I don't want to trigger the poison trap. I can't move anymore. What's the percentage that I might hit my own guy? It's only like 8%, so... Woo! All right, so poison also still happens where we stand. Got another land of critical hit with two different units. Um, let's see, I wanna push that unit off. Oh, I moved the wrong person. Whoops, okay, never mind. But yeah, let's go over here. I know, I'm in poison. This is really interesting. I had no idea what to expect for this arena. push you back towards the plague rats and I'm going to first aid on you only heals five and let's move you here whoa pulled him to him whoa that was crazy 
That was cool. <laughs> Maybe not ideal for me, but... Yeah, that's all I can do. <laughs> and out of combat. No! Why'd you attack? You had people right next to you! That's not fair! Why would you come right after me? Ah, That's cheap. <laughs> cheap AI. Oh my gosh, I still haven't taken out this guy's armor. Yep. I think we're gonna lose this one. Alright, have a good night. Sleep well. Thanks for catching me today. Oh, that filled up the whole arena! <laughs> oh my goodness. So... Yeah, I've been trying to kill this guy. He has so much health. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna have to disengage. Oh my gosh. Yeah, why are the rats only engaging me? Why aren't they engaging the freaking enemy in this? I might be able to take you out if I can land a crit. So close. I don't think we got this one, guys. Ah, uh, there goes my archer. Yep, that's it. Oh, he pulled me across the poison trap. <laughs> and the plague rats get healed by the poison trap. That's it, we're out of combat. Wow, that is crazy! That is so cool! So close, all you needed was a bit of luck. Or talent. Oh no, do I actually- I have to heal my people after that? <gasps> no, they're plague infected! Oh. Well, that sucks. I don't remember the last time I saved. Well, next time we rest, we're going to have a couple of plague-infected people um, that we're not going to be able to cure until we get down to Tilrin. But I think that's it for now. We have one more thing to do in the region. That arena is pretty challenging. We'll come up here and grab this next time, and then we'll go take care of Alizar. And then we'll head down to Tilrin after that. Um, we'll have to deal with a couple of people who have the plague. Because we have no access to plague cure right now. Yay! I think they're just going to eat, like, way more food. I hope that's all it is. Because if you feed them, they're not aggressive. If you don't feed them, they get really aggressive. That's my understanding of how the plague works in this world. But, anyways... I've got to get ready for some guests, so thanks for joining today. I will upload this onto YouTube. I'm not 100% positive if I'm doing a stream tomorrow or not. Uh, our guests are spending the night, so it kind of depends on when they leave in the morning. And we do have Dungeons & Dragons in the afternoon, so we'll see if I have the time. Um, I will put it on my Twitter if I do stream. And if not, I will see you all next weekend. Thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed this adventure. Stay safe and stay healthy.